grinding it out in Silicon Valley, the place where you're never too young to launch your tech dreams. Startups here at the Startup Grind Global Conference are showcasing what they believe is the next big thing. We've invented the smallest in the world security GPS tracker, which you can use for kids, seniors, pets and valuables. We are making 3D printed houses. It's uh, made of uh, carbon and fiberglass. It doesn't contain any wood or steel or uh, you know other materials which would rot or rust. So our house will last forever. Whatever it is here. On stage, startups face off in pitch competitions, vying for the attention of investors. The Illumisafe is a smart lamp with a smart safe hidden inside. The mural canvas provides access to more than 30,000 digital works of art. It automatically adjusts the lighting in a room, which is a cool little feature. There's also, you can swipe up, and just like a museum, you can learn more about the piece that you're looking at. You can swipe up again and look at other galleries. Helping fill the seats at Startup Grind tech industry superstars like the founder of Waze, Noam Bardeen, who sold his popular crowdsourcing navigation app to Google for $1.1 billion. He's shedding light on Waze's new feature, Carpool, designed to create low-cost rides and reduce traffic. And it's actually a very, very difficult problem to solve. And the pain that you're creating is just enough to make this a hassle. And so our challenge is how do we make this seamless enough that it will be just part of your daily commute and what you do every day, but at the same time, actually get people to go a little bit out of their way. Amid the hustle and bustle of startup grind, China's startup ecosystem is also finding its way into topics of discussion. In fact, one speaker is asking the question, can you afford not to be in China? Cyril Eberswiler is the founder of Hacks, the largest hardware accelerator in the world, which began in Shenzhen, China. How fast can you prototype and how can you reduce the time so that you have more money available uh, to actually finance your operations. It's not serious. In what he describes as a grim climate for hardware startups, Eberswiler says Shenzhen is a prototyping superpower that innovators must explore. Mark New, CGTN, Redwood City, California.